I'll come in last night about a half past ten That baby of mine wouldn't let me in of the rebuild of Mahari Hall. It's been three weeks since I last touched it and uh, unfortunately I've had a bit of a chest infection I've not been able to come out into this uh, cold garage to sort it out. You can probably see that lot. It's bloody freezing out here and it stinks of cat piss because I think there's a cat bin in here. Uh, Unfortunately, the bike's been out here for three weeks. That little bit of surface rust is no longer a little bit of surface rust. It's now quite a bit of rust, and that needs cleaning off, and that's the job that needs to be done now. So, I've not been idle. Well, I've uh, been uh, inebriated. Well, I was going to say inebriated, then. I have been inebriated a couple of times, or more than a couple. Uh, I've been out and bought a couple, a couple of bits for it. Uh, I'll show you what they are now bike used but barely a Shimano Sora triple chain set with button bracket straight off eBay and 8 speed indexed Shimano down tube levers I think they cost me I think they were 13 quid another deal and a brand new set of wire brush wheels to get that rust off so what rust we're we talking about a little bit at the bottom Okay, some on the tubes. And the heads. Not a lot. So we can get that off. Right, this don't recommend that you wear leather gloves when using any type of rotary attachment on a drill. It snarls up and wraps around. If you wear a plastic type glove, it's more likely to skip over the surface. But with a leather type glove, it just digs in. The glove will wrap around the, the wire wheel and snarl your hand. If you can see my thumb already, I've just done that demonstrating it before. Lovely and gleaming. Right, so that's all the rust off, uh, down to bare metal, nice and clean, but there is going to be elements of grease on there and silicon, probably, out of the atmosphere, or just uh, remnants off the wire brush. So we've now got to degrease it before we can put any paint on it, and for that we're going to use cellulose thinners, neat out the can, and give it a wipe down with the rag, but I've just noticed on the bottom there there are some drain holes for the forks which are bunged up with paint so before we do anything else and before I forget we need to get those poked out so that they're nice and clean so any moisture gets in there it drains out the bottom we'll have a quick butcher's on the frame see if there's any on the frame as well a quick drill out with a small drill. The other drain hole in the frame is going to be down the bottom of the fork stanchions, or should I say, 
the seat stays nice and clean. Right, if anybody's noticing, the gloves have changed to blue. That's because I've thought about it. And those gloves I've had on are contaminated. Now, these, the vinyl gloves, and the cellulose thinners won't react to the vinyl vinyl and they should stay nice and solid now what I don't want to do is to put any grease from my fingers on the frame because that will affect the application of the paint so nice clean gloves clean cellulose thinners clean cloth wipe round get the grease off get the silicates off and the next job is a coating the primer which I'm going to do in the morning so it's now getting late the wife's home from the gym dun, dun, dun. she'll be thinking bloody hell he's in the garage again so get the uh, all the contamination off it take it in the house overnight and re-spray re -spray tomorrow because it's damp out here if I leave it out overnight you get a very very minuscule thin bloom of rust on it and we don't want that so we'll keep it in the house where it's nice and dry.